uh, Keith, on your team's performance. They fought so hard, a brave and 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 a performance full of pride. Again, I think first and foremost, I've got to say the the travelling support phenomenal. Uh, very much appreciated, not only by myself but the, the staff, the football club. The they were truly representative of, of what we're trying to build at the football club. Uh, when, you get, when we came out before the kickoff, uh, and you see the numbers uh, and the vocal support, uh, it, it makes you proud because you say that, that's people believing in what you're trying to create at the football club. Does it show then the potential of this football club, the kind of flavour we got of, of the fans tonight and their support? Yeah, yeah. Uh, definitely 100%. Um, and again, I think the players gave a, a performance today that is uh, appreciative uh, of, the, of the support. Uh, we've had a fantastic cup run this season um, and, and we've earned the right. And again, that's what we said to the players today. We're here on merit. Uh, make sure we go in and we give up a performance. First half, I've got, I've got to say, uh, I didn't think we turned it enough into a cup time. Uh, we needed to get half a yard closer to. We needed to upset there with them. Uh, it might sound a little bit uh, old school, but we needed to lay a stun on the field. Because uh, <laughs> when you, when you, uh, if you, otherwise you get, you can get uh, not so much spellbound, but they pass and move the ball very, very well. And when to get into their passing rhythm, their movement, their options, uh, it, it can make a difficult afternoon. Sometimes when you're playing against good players, uh, you need to slow them down a little bit. Was there an instruction at half time to be a little bit more? physical maybe and to get those challenges in without being too crude we needed to make it more of a cup tie we needed we, we needed to do, uh, make them squeal a little bit <laughs> and a couple of times we did and again yeah. and then they start looking for you they start uh, it, it takes them away out of their rhythm when they get into their rhythm they got good players uh, good understanding, good rotation, good movement, uh, and uh, for us, it, it, uh, it stretched us at times. And when we needed to do our starting point, we stopped them from playing out and getting into their rhythm a couple of times. We, we stayed off of them, and then we didn't see the ball for four or five uh, passages of play. Um, but it comes, goes back to the starting point: people doing their job. But the excellent reminder for ourselves that because, uh, in the league. Um, as we keep progressing in the league, we need to do that and get on the front foot in the starting games uh, and continue that. We've been doing it consistently today, and we, uh, we didn't turn it into a cup tie early enough. A few specifics about the game. You kept on going right to the end. You almost made it 4-3 right at the death with that strike from Sam Hoskins. A little bit earlier, the penalty that Derby were awarded. Some controversy about that. Do you think that was a fair decision? I've just looked look back on it there, and I don't think it is a, a definite penalty. But referees give it. We, uh, we abide yeah. by it. We abide by it. Uh, I want to define a moment, a moment in the game, but I, I thought it was, might, be, uh, might be slightly else. I will go and have a look at it again. Um, uh, I'll say over, overall, um, we came and we've competed, um, which is you know, keep going for 94, 95 minutes. My players will do that because that's the demands that I put on them. I don't. Uh, Goals we need to score, goals we need to win games. But effort, commitment, uh, we, when someone puts a shirt on, that's there. Just a final one on, uh, in, in, in terms of the players you brought on and, and took off. For Dan Oliver, substituted at half time, was that tactical or was he was he unfit? Is there a problem with him? Um, no, he wasn't winning his headers. He wasn't winning his headers. He wasn't being the focal point. Um, and again, I think we've got a very very competitive squad now. Uh, and players know if they don't they if they don't do what I need them to do, I will make a change. Uh, now today, and that's no disgrace to them. He's playing against two championship centre backs, and he was we weren't winning first contact. So then we need to try and open the door another way. Um, again, we've got a very competitive squad. And we, again, give it another two or three weeks when the, um, some of the players that have been sidelined when they come back in, we will have a, comp a com very competitive squad. And players know that the demands are but when they do what they need to do, they will stay in the team. When they don't, then, then somebody else will come on and, and, and do what needs to be done. Finally, you'll be mindful now, you're back to the league, two big home games coming up, Port Vale on Saturday, then the league leader Swindon next Tuesday, vital to make uh, the PTS rock and get the fans behind you in the way they were behind you tonight. The one thing I can guarantee is the fans will play their part, massively, uh, and again, the, the momentum's building, the belief's building, the identity of what we're trying to create is building, the identity now that the, uh, the supporters have with the players phenomenal and, again, and they've got some new players that have come into the group um, some of them would have seen a glimpse of them at Macclesfield um, they're good players uh, and again they're adding to, to a very very competitive good squad good stuff thanks very much Keith thank you just